Hi Big Tractor Power fans. In this video we're going to spend some time out in a south central Wisconsin field with a pair of Agco white machines. A 145 workhorse tractor and a 9222 12 row corn planter. Before we head out to the field to hear and see this machinery at work, let's talk a little bit about their history and specifications. The 145 workhorse tractor had a manufacturer's suggested PTO horsepower of 145. That's where its model number comes from. It was manufactured from 1990 through 1992. It was one of the first new tractors offered by Agco. The company acquired the tractor line from Allied White New Idea in 1991. It's powered by a CDC Cummins 359 cubic inch 5.9 liter engine. It features a 3x6 over under partial power shift transmission. It has 18 forward and 6 reverse speeds. It weighs in at 15,000 pounds and the suggested retail price for this tractor was $60,000 back in 1990. This 145 tractor and other workhorse series tractors stand out because they mark the end of an era for the Field Boss tractor design that was first introduced by White in 1974 with the popular 2105 tractor and 4150 four-wheel drive tractor. The Field Boss design featured an all-new look with argent silver that replaced the popular Oliver Green tractors, Minneapolis Moline yellow, and Kaksha Zumac Red. The Workhorse series features a special decal with a horse pulling a plow. Each of the moldboards are painted in those classic company brands that came before 1974 in Clover Green, Energy Yellow, Zumac Red, and of course the White Argent Silver, which was the current color of the line. The tractor is pulling a 30 foot wide 9222 corn planter, which is a current model offered by Agco in 2019. It features 12 rows that are spaced at 30 inches apart. It has two bushel seed boxes and features two elliptical tanks on the frame that hold starter fertilizer. The white line of corn planters was introduced in 1974, originally by Oliver, known as the Plant Air Series. Zumac Red came along in 1975 and has continued to be the color of the planter line from Agco all the way through today. These popular planters are a staple of the company. In 2001, the white tractor line was retired, but the white planter series has continued on and is a strong seller for Agco. Now that we've talked a little bit about the farm equipment that you're going to be seeing in this video, let's head out to the field to get a bird's eye view of this machinery at work.
I hope you've enjoyed this corn planting video, and if you'd like to see more like it, consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube, where there are over 1,000 videos of farm machines in action. If you have any questions or thoughts about the video, please leave them in the comment section below as I try to respond to every post that is made. As always, thank you for watching. Thank you.